Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This video is about producing multicolored lines at the same time, and you can come up with any shape. I'm going to draw a rectangle or a square that's going to make it a let's make it a half an inch. I'm going to set my nudge factor on a half an inch. I'm going to Control D and duplicate it down. Let's do four this time. Then I'm going to just take my Smart Fill tool. And I'm going to or I know you have to take my smart fill tool. I'm just going to take different colors and let's pick a green on this one. <clears throat> Select them all and then go up to the no fill with your right mouse button to give it no fill. Now to make this actually better, you need to take them and individually convert them to a curve or control Q, whoop, control Q, and it doesn't really make it any different with the exception it's going to make it a little smoother because now it's not a rectangle it's a, or a square, it's a curve. Now we're going to go to Control G to group it together. And then we're going to, you can press I or go to the Artistic Media tool and save that pattern with this save disk. And we're going to call it four color. And just put save. Now we're going to take our artistic media tool and pick the second one from the right, which is your brush, and just make any kind of line, and it's going to mimic those lines. You can do that. You can pre-draw a line with your three-point curve. Let's make a rainbow, so let's draw a line out and then hold down the control button to make a perfect curve. And then once you click on this, you can just touch your brush stroke. A lot of times you have to increase or decrease this for it to show up. But you can do multicolored lines like that instantly. Now you could do that with a contour tool, but you couldn't really, you know, just keep drawing with it, you know, any shape you wanted and, and get this effect. I kind of messed that corner up right there. Or you can take a rectangle or a square Let's take the shape tool and just bring in these nodes to get a rounder object. And then just go back to your artistic media tool. I don't know why Corel makes this happen, but you have to press up or down to change the line. That's a pretty cool effect. And you could do it with an infant, you know, 10 colors. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.